In California, you'll find fun, romance, and vampires. You better get yourself a garlic t-shirt, buddy. Have been eating pizza? No. Why? Ooh, you smell like garlic. The Lost Boys. The New York Times calls it timely, relentlessly funny, and a hip comic twist on the classic vampire movie. Bring home The Lost Boys on video cassette from Warner Home Video. I still believe. Hello, fellow followers. Welcome back to Fan Scene. Greg here, and today I have for you my 4K movie review of The Lost Boys from 1987. This is one of my all-time favorite movies, one of the all-time greatest vampire movies out there around. I have been waiting to watch this for so long, and I was so glad to finally get it. And I, you know, I know there are tons and tons of 4K uh, movie reviews of this right now on YouTube, and I thank you for clicking on this one, whether you're uh, an avid viewer, a subscriber, or a new viewer, and if you want to, if you haven't, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell for notifications. I would truly appreciate that, and uh, if you do like this video, please consider giving it a like after you watch it, because I at least want you guys to watch the video before you make up mind whether you like it or you don't like it. If you don't like it, that's okay to hit the dislike, even though YouTube doesn't uh, really care about that anymore. But with all that being said, let's get into this review. The transfer to this was absolutely fantastic. I am so glad that Warner Brothers put the work they put into this. It was great. I loved this transfer it was great and just so you guys know here so here's the front of it i want to give you guys that without the glare because it is a bit shiny um i will say i'm not a fan of this artwork i have not been a fan of this artwork since it was released i would have preferred the original uh artwork like you see right here that would have been perfect i think for this but that's neither here nor there uh i wish i wish they could do it but there's the front of that and here's the back of it this great movie, great movie. This was perfect, and then you know we'll take the slip off, and it's once again that and that, and it comes with the Blu-ray, and it comes with the 4K, and the Blu-ray is actually the new 4K transfer of the film. So if you have the old uh, Blu-ray, you, and you want to uh, considering whether you should keep it or not, I will tell you this: everything that is on that Blu-ray. It's been transferred over to this. All but I think one thing I saw Serial at Midnight said, I can't remember what it is, but all but that one special feature, which is really not that big of a special feature, has been uh, left off. But other than that, it is perfect. It's got everything from that Blu-ray disc. Uh, I'm going to switch out these real quick for you guys so I can read the back of this for you guys because uh, I cannot see with them on. <laughs> I know I look cool with the sunglasses on, but I need my glasses so I can read this for you guys. <laughs> So, if you want to know what the special features are, the special features are commentary by director Joel Schumacher, who has sadly passed away. Uh, also on Blu-ray, which all the special features are on the Blu-ray, but the commentary is also on the 4K. Uh, the special features are additional scenes, The Lost Boys, a retrospective documentary, the, uh, which is amazing because uh, that is a great, great documentary to have, and I'm so glad that it's still on here for this. And then we have The Return of Sam and the Frog Brothers, which is great. The two Quarries and Jameson New. Newlander, uh, they talk, you know, multi-angle video commentary. We got vamping out the undead creatures of Greg Can Canemum. I hope I said that right. Inside the Vampire's Cave, four featurettes. Hamster and Fell Dog, the story of the two quarries. Lost in the Shadows music video by Lou Graham. A World of Vampires interactive map and a theatrical trailer. Uh, it is loaded with those special features from the old Blu-ray. Uh, and like I said, the, the Blu-ray contains new 4K scan of this. And this, oh my god, did this pop. The 4K, the, I, I absolutely loved it. It was outstanding. The blacks were black and rich. The blues were bright and vibrant. vibrant. The red was just outstanding because there's a, this movie is very dark and it has a lot of red and a lot of nice things and I know some people may be worried about that because, you know, because of how dark the movie is, but it absolutely pops. When it goes to the night skylight and uh, the boardwalk and you see the roller coaster and the Ferris will all lit up against the black, oh my God, it pops. And the scene, the scene when they take Michael to, uh, you know, to do his first kill and then when Kiefer's face pop out and he, you see him all vampired out, that scene, oh my God, did that scene, that just like, it was so perfect. It was so vibrant, clear and bright. And then like when they basically <laughs> slaughter all those, uh, those surf guys, it was just the scene was perfect, and this movie, if you don't know what this movie is about, um, 
essentially, uh, you know, uh, Corey Haim and Jason Patrick and their mom, uh, which I'm trying to remember her name because she's pretty famous too, um, Diane Weist, uh, they, you know, they, her, their mom has just got divorced and they're moving back uh, with her dad in Santa Carla, California, the murder capital of the world. And, uh, you know, and th they find out there's vampires there. And, you know, his brother gets hooked up with uh, Jamie Gertz's character, Star, who's gorgeous in this movie. Uh, you know, he follows her around and ends up with David Kiefer Sutherland and his man of vampires. And he gets turned into a vampire basically and uh it's just it's just perfect the movie is perfect it's eerie it's creepy it's funny and uh edward herman who plays uh max still one of the scariest vampires ever on film in my opinion because his his presence is just the way he comes across it because you don't know he's like he has this embodiment of like this nerdy middle-aged guy and then when you find out uh spoiler alerts for anybody else see it but when you find out he is like the head vampire and, and how like he just lays waste to everybody uh when they try to attack him it's, it's just outstanding it's scary and perfect uh i just i i just I love this movie. It's so great that I I had probably the most fun I've ever had watching this movie. Uh, the, probably the best experience I've ever had watching this movie on 4K. You you turn down the lights, you get some popcorn, some pizza, you enjoy The Lost Boy, especially with it getting into October. I can't stop gushing about this movie. This movie is absolutely beautiful on 4K. I just it's I cannot wait to see what Sony has for Fright Night because I know this was Warner Brothers so I'm really curious what Sony has for Fright Night because that movie right there and Lost Boys and Near Dark are probably the three best vampire movies from the 80s ever and I would love a Near Dark on 4K which has been rumored for a long time but yes I love this movie. The transfer was outstanding. The performances still hold up. The movie holds up the fog, the atmosphere, the vampires, the uh, you know and for whatever reason it was I know this is like sort of like a take on like um, Peter Pan and the Lost Boys and staying young forever. For I, I've known that for years because I've, I've seen this movie hundreds hundreds of times but for whatever reason when I watched it this time it clicked in my head you know with David and uh, his group and luring Michael into their like uh, their their den their their the hotel where they live in it's very much like the Lost Boys like you know where Peter Pan lives and wanting to stay in it's just like it all clicked and then like and then like even Michael being named after one of the Peter Pan characters because there was Wendy Michael John and then like how Peter wanted a mother for his Lost Boys and that's why he was bringing Wendy and her film and then like with Max knowing that he wanted a mother for his boys and bringing her boys it just it's just like whatever it was it just all clicked in my head this time and like not that I've known didn't know it was just like I guess maybe now that I'm older and I've learned more about film and movies and everything it just all sort of just clicked in my head this time and it was so great and oh man this 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 was a fun freaking blast uh <laughs> I cannot recommend it more so if you've not ever seen the Lost Boys or if you have been curious about upgrading your Lost Boys to 4K or if you want to start in 4K this right here Get it, get it while it lasts because it is totally worth every bit of money, every bit of transfer, every bit of entertainment. Check it out. And like I said, if you liked what you saw here, please consider hitting that like button, subscribing, hitting that bell for notifications. Please share this video out for everybody to see. Leave me your comments in the comment section down below what you guys thought about this. Uh, if you've seen it, if you've got the 4K, if you want the 4K, if you like this review, I love reading your comments. Keep the keep them coming in the comment section. It does help as well too when you like and comment with the algorithm. Um, I thank you guys for watching. Please support physical media. It is the superior format. Wherever you guys are, please have a great, safe, happy, healthy day, morning, afternoon, evening, and night. Godspeed. One thing about living in Santa Carla I never could stomach. All the damn vampires. <laughs>